Alrighty, so, um, long story short, I'm going to make my, um, opinion review about Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Okay, so, um, I, <laughs> honestly, I have hardly any words to describe this series because, like, each episode is, like, seven minutes long. And, like, I, um, honestly don't understand much about it outside of, like, <laughs> it's like, it, it, it sounded, it started, like, all cool and, and, and honky-dory ever, like, when it came to the, the, the prison planet arc, where, like, Goku and them were, like, figuring out who the Fu is, but when I saw Fu... <laughs> he looks like a recycled version of Kabuto from Naruto. And I kind of had that opinion ever since I got the DLC with him in it in uh, Xenoverse 2. So I was like, okay, this guy's questionable. Um, to be real with you, to me, Fu is a, um, a crazy lunatic scientist with ADHD. I'm like, I'm looking at this kid and I'm like, uh, yeah, has he ever heard of Ritalin? Like, conserva pills? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, and, I mean, don't get me wrong, he's interesting, but he's also very questionable, so, um, yeah, as a start of, it, it's probably gonna be, like, a part five review because I got things to do, like, a five-part review, but, um, the, um, I will start out with what I think about the characters, um, now, as we progress through and through where Trunks has to get saved and yada yada yada, um, we meet this evil saying that I happen to love. His name is Cumber. I kind of wish there was more information about this character in particular because, um, I think he makes a great evil saying, but it, it's kind of strange how he's, how he's, like, super OP strong, and then, like, throughout the end of the arc, he gets downgraded, in a sense, because, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, the series was great when it came to the first arc, which was on the prison planet, but then shortly after that, um, actually when you meet Cumber, who's pretty, like, he's stupid strong in my opinion, and mind you, he only went Super Saiyan from the last time I checked. Um, I don't know how far I am in the series, but, um, shortly after Cumber was defeated, you get these, um, new sort of villains. Don't know where the fuck they came from. Nobody, nobody, get, like, there's no description of where they came from, how you got them. Like, the biggest questionable one I have is, like, how did Zamas come back to life when we all know in Super he was a race? So that's a huge plot hole. And then we got somebody like Hearts. Now, this particular character I have a love-hate relationship with, in my opinion, because... First of all, when I, when, I, when I saw Hearts as a character, I was like, who the fuck is this albino bastard? <laughs> Like, like, and, and my second opinion is, I, I was talking with my roommate about this character, and she and I actually had the same opinion. Like, she, she wondered why he looked like a weird version of, uh, Kororo from, um, Hunter x Hunter, and I said, yeah, he kind of does, but he also kind of looks like a weird knockoff of Sans from Underfell. And he's got, like, this, like, weird, like, personality that's, like, too much similar to Zamas, but then again, it's not. And it doesn't really help that he sounds like Aokiji. Like, yeah, so, um, this, this guy is, like, questionable, and not to mention, it's, like, why the hell is he, like, stu like stupid OP? Like, in a short period of time, like, he, he, like, flung his cubes into, like, a small planet, and it was, like, completely gone. I'm like, uh, yeah, then, um, 
I feel like the clot is kicking this guy in the balls too hard because honestly, like first he was like stupid OP and then next thing you know, like he becomes super hard and now that I remember he's now ultimate god slayer hard, but it's like there's there's no there's no exactly we like the only explanation we have about his motives is that he wants to take down Zeno and um save mankind, but he actually destroys it at the same time, so it, this, this guy's a huge hypocrite in my opinion, but yeah, very self-centered, very... I, I, there's really hardly any worth about this guy in particular, like what the hell? Like this, this albino bastard is just, like so questionably beyond words, and it what really irritates me about this character in particular, it's like you don't know where he's from, and hell, you don't even know what his species is. I, I looked time and time again on his profile, and I even got my roommate to help me, and there was just like literally no information about this dude. Um, then we got uh, Common and Orin, and it's practically the same thing. We just don't know where they... Um, came from. I mean, the thing is, they're supposed to be like some rendition of 17 and 18. Yeah, they're twins, blah, blah, blah. We all established that. And uh, I think it they were created from Universe 6 and then supposedly they were going to be eliminated because their dumbass creators were afraid of their power or whatever. So yeah, that's um... It, it's like... They got a story, but it's like... The twins in particular don't really have a backstory outside of just that, so, um, it's like they seem very perky, energetic, immature, but it's like they've done most of the fighting throughout the series from when the second arc came. And then we have Logs. And now, above all the characters that my roommate and I've seen in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, Logs has the least amount of information. The only thing we that my roommate and I discovered was that she's she's uh, the equivalent of an Earthling, but she's from like a glass tribe. So, and she literally sucks up to heart as if she was like the teacher's pet, despite being reluctant in some of his opinions. So it's like, yeah, she's like one of those characters that you just have huge amounts of questions. Where is she from? What universe is she from? Like, there's just, just no information. And, um, it really sucks. And what really kills me about this entire series of Dragon Ball, uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes is Zamas. And now, we all know that Zamas, the fusion Zamas, has most of the information because he's indeed a canon character, but as my roommate and I were watching um, the series of Dragon Ball Heroes, throughout the entire series, he's just sat there and did nothing with this look on his face like, A, this is bullshit, and B, I don't get it. Like, like she and I just... <laughs> <laughs> like, I swear, if she's up for it, I was thinking maybe she and I would do a video, like a long video about this, because Zalamas throughout the entire series did absolutely nothing, like zero, nothing, not a zilch. And then when he finally gets some action, you're like, holy fuck! Like, holy fuck, he's finally fighting, finally fighting. And the next thing you know, um, after when Hearts became, oh my god. Oh, oh I hate that, but this is fucking name. It's like, corny! I'm not kidding, it's like a corny name. He, he calls himself the ultimate god killer and then other aspects as the ultimate god slayer. Like, after when Hearts becomes the ultimate god slayer. He erases Zamas because he's a god. And I was like, where the fuck did this come from? Like, a number of episodes of Zamas doing absolutely nothing. He finally gets some action. And and um, I saw some good YouTube videos about the theory that he was possibly and potentially going to be the last man standing. But I feel bad for those theorists because 
their theory just blows up in their face because Hearts, above all else, has become the ultimate god killer and just disintegrate Zamas as if he's like nothing. And I feel like heroes completely downgraded Zamas' ability because we as Su uh, Dragon Ball Super fans know that it to Zen O to be rid of Zamas because he was stupid OP. He completely cheated his death. In the manga, he ended up like with like a freaking super army of himself. Because Vegeta had the bright idea to fucking blow Zamas into pieces and then all those pieces regenerated and there was a big old army of them. Like yeah, great, right? But in the in the in the anime, somehow Zamas fused with the entire timeline of, um, of the alternate future, and it was bleeding into the current timeline, which made no sense. So I prefer the manga rendition of Zamas's end versus the anime. But uh, to get to the main point about my opinions about Super Dragon Ball Heroes is that they completely downgraded Zamas. And my roommate and I are, like, scratching our heads because we were, uh, um, remembering what we've read in the manga and watched in the anime. And even my gameplays of, um, of, uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And, um, yeah, this guy who's, like, so stupid OP ends up, like, getting defeated by this albino bastard. Like, he's nothing. And it made no sense. It, it still makes no sense to us at all. Um, buying the game of Dragon Ball Heroes is on debate because, um, honestly, I prefer um, Dragon Ball to be a fighter game and a RPG. Like, I do like... Like, Xenoverse does have its ups and downs, but the cool thing is you get to create your character, you get your own plot, you know, you get to be, you pretty much... Um, like can pick your instructor etc etc i kind of wish dragon ball heroes was like that but they could um do like a reference between like if i wanted dragon ball heroes i would have kept the plot with the anime and the manga per se but um it could be like a mix between xenoverse and dragon ball fusions that's my opinion anyways so yeah um but as for Super Dragon Ball Heroes, I am, like, the anime from what I'm seeing, I'm really scratching my head about this because I feel like, one, the episodes are not long enough, two, the characters outside of Zamas have little to no information. I mean, the only um, other character that has more information about him and, and, and personalities and this stuff outside of Zamas is Few. Despite the fact he's not really canon to begin with, because if I remember correctly, uh, Few started out on um, uh, Dragon Ball Online, and then he made a debut in Xenoverse 2, and now he's in Heroes, so um, yeah, that, that dude is very questionable, and um, the, the other thing um, about this opinion of Dragon Ball Heroes is that, um, I feel like it's extremely rushed. Like, it, it, it's like, there's, it's like, yeah, I, I do respect that somebody like Hearts just, like, cuts the bullshit and gets to the point, but it kind of rushes the plot. So, um, yeah, I don't really know for say if I want to continue watching Dragon Ball Heroes as an anime, the most I would probably do is wait until Hearts gets defeated and that's about it because this series, in my opinion, it has its ups and downs. Like I said before, it has interesting characters it, and um, the fact that Hearts is a complicated character and an enigma is pretty dope, but it's just the plot and how the characters were from awesome and mysterious to weak as fuck and they all just get taken down in less than like 10 episodes and, but I think the worst and most insulting thing out of the whole entire series is seeing my homeboy get 
disintegrated. Despite being immortal, and also the fact that throughout the entire series he's done absolutely nothing until he was defending um, cards, of course. So yeah, that that's just like bummer, huge bummer. So um, yeah um, if you have any opinions of if you have any opinions about Dragon Ball Heroes as an anime, you can tell me what you like and what you dislike about it in uh, the comment section down below. I will be glad to look at them and um, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on any of these because um, if, um, I'm not really good at getting on the facts on things because like I said, I'm still new to this and I don't know about I don't know how long exactly my channel is going to last because I just started and there's like a whole lot of shit going around, as I said in the previous video, but um, that's not, that doesn't have anything to do with this video, of course, but um, yeah, um, feel free to like and subscribe, uh, click on the little bell doohickey, and if you want me to do another vlog with my roommate so she can share her opinions please let me know i'd appreciate it um so yeah um uh, there's nothing else for me to say other than that but yeah please please tell me what you think about dragon ball heroes and what you think from like the anime and and the games and the manga etc what do you think would make this series better so, um, yeah this is kalabasa the dragon ball z otaku the dbz otaku Ugh, i'm still not used to my name um i will see you later